Punisher Grey Raven has been released. Never heard of that game? Well, allow me to introduce to you what this game is all about. After years of experience gaming, I have acquired the elusive title of the Monster Gamer. And today I'm here to introduce to you to this very amazing game called Punisher Grey Raven. But hold up! Have you heard of how you can play Punishing Grey Raven? Allow me to enlighten you. Blue Stacks 5! Blue Stacks, the top dog of Android gaming on PC. Hate your phone? Give it to me and download Blue Stacks 5, the world's leading mobile gaming platform. Now, this, this is a powerhouse of speed and performance. It's like a cheetah that plays mobile game on their computer like a chat! Before I jump into this, you should know that BlueStacks takes up to 2 gigabytes less RAM when running 3 instances. Random fact? Yes. But this also means you can basically run a lot of other applications while you game on BlueStacks 5. And in today's topic, let's take a look at Punishing Grey Raven. This game is a mobile hack and slash gacha RPG with absolutely stunning graphics, stunning battle animation, complex mechanics, and not to mention stunning missing die. In order to support such a huge and complex game, UFO might be crying as it begs to you to close it and just open TikTok again. <laughs> Stop playing such stressful game and watch girls on TikTok, please. Which is why I recommend for you to run stressful mobile games on your computer through BlueStacks 5. Battle through the world of PGR with seamless movements, satisfying evasion mechanics, and thrilling hack and slash actions with your favorite Hispanos or waifus. With BlueStacks 5's amazing controls editor, you will be able to make mobile gaming on computer a lot more convenient. As you can see on the screen right now, there are a lot of keybinds. Each of these keybinds can be customized to your own liking, so that you know exactly what button to hit while you aggressively ravage your enemies using your keyboard and sitting on your chair. I'm running this game on the absolute highest settings for the absolute highest quality for the absolutely missing die. And it doesn't at all stress my computer's CPU and RAM usage too much. If your mother gave you a cheap laptop for your birthday, you can help lower your RAM usage with the incredible trim memory function of BlueStacks 5. Once you click it, not only you can indulge in the satisfaction of clearing the memories, you can enjoy better performance of BlueStacks 5 for your game. If your mother gave you absolutely nothing for your birthday, because that's how it should be and I don't understand why family celebrates your birthday when your mother almost died giving birth to you and like, why are we celebrating you? We should celebrate our mother if anything. I just see these motherfucking rich kids flexing their birthday cakes on Instagram instead of busting their young balls to study or work and act like they're fucking Kim Kardashians with their freaky selfies. I just... You can use eco mode. With eco mode, it drastically reduced your CPU usage and GPU usage for easier multitasking. And it is absolutely perfect to be used to reroll with several instances, especially for a gacha game like Punishing Grey Raven. Now then, I have to say this. Hello, Internet! And today, we're going to be taking a first little impression of Punishing Grey Raven. This is my account. At me. And while using BlueStacks 5, I created my account and I didn't even need to reroll. I basically have the perfect start with S-Class Live and S-Class Cowboy. I call this the luck of them blue stacks. I streamed this game for quite a bit and I like it quite a lot. But what's truly surprising is the frame rate doesn't drop as I murder enemies and probably ruin their family tree forever. With this uni game, I had to really dig deep and figure out the mechanic. And when I did, I started cruising through the story and had quite a bit of fun. The game runs absolutely butterly smooth on BlueStacks 5, even with all of these high quality battle animations going on. It's so smooth, it's like Gordon Ramsay's way of proposing. Can you cook like this? Your dream. Thank you, Chef. And I want Tommy the dream. I want to wake up with you. Not with you. So what are you waiting for? Download BlueStacks 5 right now with my link in the description and join me in the world of punishing Grey Raven and enjoy this absolutely incredible game and absolutely missing thighs. Get BlueStacks 5 right now and receive your power. Please.
I need you to download BlueStacks 5 with my link in the description down below. Do it or I'll slide into your mom's DMs. Alright. <laughs> All right. In all in all reality, though, uh, I'm I'm probably uh, the the last part is probably going to be like post recorded. Well, yeah. I mean, this part is also post recorded. But yeah, Punishing Great Raven. I think it's quite a fun game for some people. I personally enjoy quite a bit, but I don't know how it would go in the long run. But right now, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. So yeah, take a first look at Punishing Great Raven. It looks like a uh, generic hack and slash RPG with, you know, gacha elements into it. It's kind of like Genshin Impact, Nier Automata, all those other titles that you would probably know. And honestly, I really like the mechanic, the battle mechanic mainly, of this game. It's like, I don't know if I would put the whole guide here, but I, I, I don't think I have time to like explain. But basically, you kind of have to match the same color of orbs or whatever in order to do more damage and whatnot and combo together, trigger QTEs. So there's a lot of like possibilities to chain your team so it synergizes beautifully as it does a lot of DPS. So I think it would give a lot of satisfaction if you like those hack and sa uh, slash games like maybe Dark Souls even. And yeah, I heavily recommend you to try this game if you, you know, have nothing to do on maybe if you're watching me for a long time, if you have nothing to do in Epic 7, which I don't think you do, <laughs> collab went. Give this game a shot, and of course, run it on BlueStacks 5, as I think it's probably just the best emulator to run it, buttery smooth, seamless gameplay, and everything you need is on the toolbar. You have controls, you have keybinds, everything you need. I'll have my link to like BlueStacks 5 in the description down below, like usual, really. I, I, I haven't ever not do that, because honestly, BlueStacks 5 is a pretty darn good emulator. So yeah, if you want to support the channel, if you want to play Punishing Grave Raven or even Epic 7 to be honest, you can use probably the world's best emulator in my opinion. So yeah, I'll have my link in the description and whatnot. Just click on that, download it, install BlueStacks and enjoy your gameplay. And remember, the frame rate doesn't drop.